live in full color. From Hollywood, the Red Skelton Show, brought to you by Red's friends at Johnson's Wax, makers of J-Wax, and Clear. The Red Skelton Show with David Rose and his orchestra and Red's guest stars, John Carradine and Franklin Pangborn. Now, here he is, the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I'd like to thank Walter Winchell for the nice thing he said in his column, and I'd like to thank Dinah Shore for using one of my paintings on her show. It's really been hot out here in California, you folks that are coming out. We went swimming on Sunday, and my wife wore one of those new sack swimming suits, you know? <laughs> I got arrested for seining without a license. <laughs> then they had the sportsman show out here, and they had a fellow that climbs up a 150-foot ladder, and he dives into this small uh, little tank like that. So they asked, anybody in the audience want to do it? So they all looked at me, and I, well, you know, big show off. <laughs> I climb up this 150-foot ladder, and I took one. You know it's harder to climb down a ladder than it is to climb down a ladder. And then we now have Major League Baseball out here at last. <laughs> and the way the Dodgers are playing, that's the way they're going to wind up. <laughs> I went out there, there was uh, 78,000 people watching the game and 10,000 saw it. <laughs> oh, the place is so big, this Coliseum, I'll tell you, it's so big that they've got restroom on the way to the restroom. <laughs> I really didn't get to see much of the game myself. I was way up in the top, you know, and the satellite kept blocking my view. <laughs> hey, I got one joke to tell you about a little boy play, uh, 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 playing baseball. He's out there playing baseball. Uh, uh, one of the uh, little Richard type he's eating in his little kitchen. Ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four, you is out. He says, what do you mean I is out? He said, the bases are loaded. I got no place to put. <laughs> to do a little pantomime scene now of an old man and a little boy and it has to do with baseball and you have to imagine the fence and everything and uh, this is called my Valentina special scene. Here we go. <laughs> Somewhere in this city lives a little old man and a little boy. <laughs> Close companions were these two. Many things they had in common such as being childlike and sharing a love for baseball. They wanted to see the ball game, but they just didn't have the price of admission. Only a knot hole through which they watched the game. A hit. It's going out to center field. It's going to hit the fence. <laughs> but the old man reached for his eye medicine. <laughs> it was known as his eye opener. is up. And there's the pitch. The ball is a high fly. It's going over the fence. is beware of pop flies. They are not male insects with blessed events.
When your work is done and you're tired, we can help unburden your mind. From the time that you get inspired, you will leave your troubles behind. Art is speaking the nation. It's exciting and quaint. Every native can be creative with nothing but a brush and paint. You can be a sensation. You don't have to be good. Just put a black beret on your head today. Be meticulous or ridiculous. Art is sweeping the nation from Brooklyn to Hollywood. do the cooing, but the billing will come later. Why couldn't we do like they do? Well, I don't think that little branch would hold us. Oh, Glenn, you made me sick. You're about as romantic as a, as a turtle. Well, turtles are pretty romantic, you know. Turtles? Yeah. You'd be surprised what goes on underneath that shell. <laughs> I'm going home. Well, wait, I'll help you over the fence. Here. Here we are. Oh, Glenn, doesn't this give me any ideas? Yeah. I think, I think I'll put a gate on this fence. You're getting kind of heavy. <laughs> oh, my youngest one. Did I say something wrong? Ah, oh, this should make a beautiful painting. Pardon me, madam. Madam! Look, my simple-minded rustic friend, I am not a woman. Oh? I am Gregory Grumbucker. I'm a man. A man? Well, then you better get out of that dress before you get arrested. <laughs> not a dress, it's a smock. Oh. I happen to be a painter. Oh, I paint thing. trees, I paint rivers, I paint cows. Really? Well, don't paint our cows. We like them the color they are. <laughs> hey, is that your Adam's apple or did you swallow a yo-yo? <laughs> Go away and leave me alone. Oh, I'm going right. to paint that barn. You're going to paint that barn? Yes. With that? <laughs> Why, for heaven's sake, that'll take you ten years. <laughs> Just how stupid can you get? Oh, I don't know. How old are you? My whole life before me, I mean, I don't know. Why should go away? Go I'll on, go home. home. Wait a minute, why go home? I live here. This is my farm. Oh, then you must be Clem Cadiddle. That's the Cadiddle Hopper. <laughs> Always finish it. Gee, that's like playing tiddlywinks without a tiddly, you know. <laughs> Ping pong without a pong, you know. Cadiddle Hopper is the name. Cadiddle Very Hopper. well, Mr. Cadiddle Hopper. Yes. You just stand out of the way and watch me. You may learn something. Oh, really? You going to learn something? <laughs> what do you think I'll learn? What's that, a blonde riding a horse in the snow? What is it? <laughs> you got a hangnail or something here? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. You probably want to do a hangnail sketch. <laughs> That's too good, Sam. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah. You idiot. Idiot. Wait. <laughs> 
What matter? What a face! What? What a subject! Who? My face! Those eyes! Yeah? That red hair! Yeah. Those dimples! You try to kick me and I'll flap you! <laughs> Pose for me. Pose for you. I'd be very happy to hold this. Oh. How about this? Fat. Oh. No. <laughs> how about how about pitiful? No, 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 no. Just forget all about it. Just sit down. Don't uh, don't uh, don't think about the posing. Just sit down and try to look natural. Don't look natural. Huh? Oh, oh, don't move. Don't move. All right. We got. Mm -hmm. No, no. Don't move. <laughs> the treacherous little dickens in there. <laughs> oh, get out of there. What's wrong? With you? Now proceed. There, it's finished. Finished? Have a look. Good heavens, I know that, fella. I've seen that face before. Well, certainly it's... Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me guess. It looks like Ma and it looks like Paul. I know who it is. Who? It's my sister Minnie. No, it couldn't on account of the mustache. Why, there's no mustache on that picture. I know, but there is on my sister, Minnie. <laughs> well, it may come as a surprise to you, Clem, but uh, this is a picture of you. Me? Say, no wonder Paul makes me lather up and shave every day. Uh, he, that or Minnie would be out there plowing up the field, you know. <laughs> oh, I'd get a mating tube. Oh. Uh, don't touch it. Whatever you do, I don't mean, touch it. Wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot pool. Wouldn't touch it, too. I wonder if I could paint a picture. I know what I'll do. I'll use the back of his old canvas there, and I'll use some of his paint and his brushes, and I'll do myself a painting myself. Yeah. That looks like a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I better hurry and turn this around because he see that he'll get I'm mad. I'm going to send this right off to New York. It's yeah. the best picture I ever painted. Me too, me too. What? I, I mean, it's the best picture I've ever seen. Me too, that is. Yeah. hard to track down. Stephen, <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I've got a little check for you. Oh. I sold your picture. Five hundred dollars? I never got more than 50 bucks for a painting in my life. <laughs> you never told me that you went in for surrealism. Surrealism? <laughs> you know, when you paint a picture, a picture as great as that, why, uh, why do you have to put a crummy portrait of an idiot on the back? Stephen, I'm sorry, but I'll have to admit that, uh, the idiot on the back is probably the one who did the painting on the front. <laughs> Nobody else could have done it. Uh-huh. Well, Gregory, let me tell you one thing. The man who painted that picture <laughs> is the rave of the New York art world. <laughs> that idiot is a gold mine. Oh, and we're going to stake a claim to him, huh? <laughs> ah, claim! Claim! Yes! I want to meet my uh, agent, Mr. Stevens. He's going to teach you how to work here. I can't find it Phil with them. I can't find it all. Oh, you're the agent. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> You know, Clem, do you know what I like to do? What? I like to take you to New York, oh. uh, put you up in a studio, and uh, exploit your potentialities. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> be a great thing for your career, Clem. You when would? can you leave? Well, I don't know. I'll have to ask Daisy June, my financier. Wait, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, a nice crop of corn. What did you do, plant the script? <laughs> Hey, that painter fellow wants me to go to New York. New York? Yes. Oh, where's that? I don't know, somewhere in Texas someplace. <laughs> where's Texas? All over, all over. Clint, you just can't go off and leave me. I can't. 
No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I got to stay here. Well, Clem, if you go to New York, you'll become rich. You'll, you'll make a fortune. Hey, a fortune. There's a lot of money in that, ain't there, huh? I'll go tell him. <laughs> he, uh, he says if I go... <laughs> Well, this deal over, I'll probably wear your pucker out, you know. <laughs> he said if I go, there'll be a fortune in it. But if you stay. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> I'm staying, I'm staying. I got something going for me here. Now, Clem. <laughs> Clem, if you go to New York, you'll absolutely be famous. Famous? You'll be the toast of the art world. The toast of the uh, art world. Uh, for a crumb like me, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, they say if I go, I'll be the toast of the art world. But... Of course, there's nothing like staying here and get barbecued, is there? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I have to stay. I'm staying. But Ken, in New York, you have your own penthouse. I will. Limousine, chauffeur. Oh, I'll go tell her. Oh, I'm in a dream world. A dream world. <laughs> hey, that's the best kiss of them all. Why? <laughs> yes, I'm staying. Give me another smack kiss like that. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> And you can take him to New York. All right. All right, sir, you can have the painting for $10,000. Fine, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Another ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, another, another. <clears throat> and you know, the orders are coming in so thick and fast, we can't take care of them. They will have to raise our prices again. <laughs> and make Clem work a little harder. We've <laughs> 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 got a lot of oil paintings to do. The models are waiting for us. They are waiting for me. Good. Miss Jones, Good. Mr. Kennedy Hopper. <laughs> Miss Chambers, Mr. Kendall Hopper. Rather ridiculous, but I like it. <laughs> well, better get the work. Come on, girls, Mr. Kadiddlehopper is sitting for you when he needs you. Oh, we'll get busy over here right now. Mr. Kadiddlehopper, yes. would you care to do me first? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, guess what is it you want me to do, anyhow? Well, I paint me, of course. Well, paint you. I like you to color you are bright red. There's nothing like a bright red. I'll start right now. He goes, Yay! <laughs> I'll paint you right now. We got the... You rang, son! <laughs> oh, I didn't ring. I was hitting the drum here. I got the... <laughs> no wonder the help's been missing. <laughs> oh, well, we'll paint a little bit more, a little bit here. Oh! Uh -oh. Well, don't wipe it off. It may be a masterpiece. <laughs> Oh, you that was a good one, too. Well, here you are. All fini. Oh, I'm dying to see it. You are. There you are. Is that me? Hey. Do I look like that? Yeah. My name is Jones. Other artists paint what they see, but Mr. Cadillacopper, <laughs> he paints what he feels. Well, I'm not feeling very well today. <laughs> out, 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 out. Thank here we you. go. Get this out of the way here. Ready for the whole thing. What happened? The Santa Monica landslide. Would <laughs> like to introduce a distinguished patron of the arts, Would Mrs. You? Davenport. And Mrs. Davenport? <laughs> you sure are overstuffed, I'll tell you. <laughs> stepping aside, I'd like to see who's talking. Oh, there you are. Oh, boy, is he over-exaggerated. Good heavens. 
<laughs> I like those seat covers. It's very nice. Well, you could step on a penny scale and the 1958 budget would come out. Boy. What do you mean like that? What do you think I am? What do I think you are? A peanut? <laughs> Oh, yes, it should be, yes. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Davenport has just donated an art museum to the city. No, you got it on you? Yes, and oh. I've chosen you to paint the mural in the main lobby. You don't That's say. That's a tremendous honor, Clem. Oh, oh. uh, uh, make you another Rembrandt, Michelangelo, another Da Vinci. Another Paganini. Paganini was a violinist. Well, truthfully, all of us artists like to fiddle around a little, you know. <laughs> I'll do it, though. Ladies and gentlemen, will be the Kedittlehopper mural. It will cover the entire wall. Uh, is it true, Mrs. Davenport, that you are paying $250,000 for this mural? Yes, that's right. Uh, you also paid a half a million dollars for this statue, is that right? Yes, half a million dollars. And it's worth far more. Half a million dollars for what? Why, for this statue. Kelly oh. here! <laughs> <laughs> The sack of Rome, oh. the invasion of France, and the Battle of Britain. Oh. Well, let's face it, we all got to go through the war. When Clem's masterpiece is on that wall, it'll more than make up for your loss. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. I gotta get the word. You better everybody stop getting what you All right, Clem. Out, everybody yeah. out. Come on, everybody out. I gotta work for you. You don't mind. I gotta work for you. I gotta work. Bring in my ladder, will you, funny boy? Bring it right in there. Put it right up there, will you? I'll start it off. Thank you there. Thank you. Thelma, I can't help it. That's just... <laughs> I just like to up into a little one-reeler. Slow <laughs> motion. <laughs> his mural and I know I just know that it will live up to the wonderful traditions of this museum oh shut up fat <laughs> <laughs> you like it don't you you like it you like it don't you is that your idea of a mural I knew you a what a mural mural I thought you said a mural <laughs> May we thank the makers of Johnson's Wax for making our visit possible and remind you that they also bring you the Steve Allen program over another network. <laughs> Anything coming through? <laughs> Next week will be brought to you by our alternate sponsors, the makers of Pet Milk, and there she is. Go! <laughs> Johnson's Wax, we're a leader in wax products for home and industry. Makers of Clear and J-Wax have brought you the Red Skelton Show. Produced by Cecil Barker. 
Directed by Seymour Burns. Written by Sherwood Schwartz, Jesse Goldstein, Dave O'Brien, Red Scout. program have been pre-recorded. This is our Joe Moore speaking. Red Skelton Show is a CBS Television Network production.